I think I might have an unhealthy addiction. Because you have to be mentally ill to want to go stand out in 15 degree, windy, humid weather in the middle of winter to have a little fun, right? Anyway, there were the PIDs. Um, long story short, I ran a battery ahead of this one. And I went out and I pumped up the anti-gravity gain quite a bit. And I did not see any noticeable improvement in my situation. Which led me to believe... Um, that this was not an eye gain problem. And just yesterday, I received uh, some correspondence from Joe Stan, who had actually gone to Joshua Bardwell and said, Hey, somebody is having a problem. Here are the symptoms. What can be done to rectify it? And this is what fixed the problem. By default, Betaflight configures D-Shot with a default idle speed of 4.5%. And Joshua Bardwell's advice was that some people who experience this problem have to bump up that idle speed from 4.5% to maybe 6 or even 7% in order to get rid of those bobbles and wobbles and weebles. So sure enough, um, while I still had some of this first battery left, because I only had two batteries left on this trip, uh, I went ahead and bumped it up to 6%, and holy crap, it's almost completely cleared up. So I moved it up to 6.5%, and at that point, uh, made some minor adjustments again to anti-gravity and eye gain, and just moved a couple things around, but not, not much. Uh, it was mostly just the eye gains and, and the anti-gravity and the, the idle throttle speed. And then I plugged in my other battery, and this is what you're watching. So I just want to give a huge, huge thank you to Barry FPV, Josh Ketchum, Nodes FPV, Joe Stan, and Joshua Bardwell, because you guys were instrumental in me getting to the bottom of whatever this problem is. All that said, forgive the flight footage. I'm out flying with gloves on, so I have no tactile feeling whatsoever while this is going on. This was really just to bounce the thing around a little bit and, you know, see if the problem is any better. And I can't tell you guys, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the wind is really, really blowing hard out there. And I'm not having any problems. Yeah, I know you can see some shakes here and there, but Again, this thing needs a tune. I pretty much went to stock PIDs and then bumped a couple things where I know I like the P's and the D's at. And the rest was just to see if eye gain was any better. Or, you know, what people normally look at for eye gain. So when you see some ugly, messy flying, that's, that's just my gloves talking. So anyway, I'm going to quit the chattering. I'm getting ready to uh, touch down a landing here, at which point... I uh, skid in. I've got some Rotoriot skid plastic things on the bottom of the quad, and uh, they skid real nice. But uh, in the cold weather, I think the nylon got a little brittle, and I must have hit a little bump or something. It broke all the motor mounts, and I think that's when, at the very end, you'll see this uh, jump of death. Nothing happened. Quad's fine. Uh, but it popped up in the air as I was sliding in for a landing, so... Enjoy the nonsense, enjoy the ugly flying, because from this point, there's going to be some nice flights ahead. Um, and again, thank you to all you guys. If I forgot anybody, left anybody out, please forgive me. Uh, it wasn't intentional, but those are the guys that stuck out in my head that I had a ton of interaction with to get this resolved. So, as always, love sharing with you guys, and happy crashing.